Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce Style, and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can use the Hulk form builder and what you can actually build with it. So when you would go to the their official app, you would find here that you can have the option to have a contact form, use a registration form, resume application form, multi-step form. So you're gonna find here plenty of use cases that I definitely recommend you to check out to see which one you prefer and which one you would like to build too. Now, also what I'm doing is that I'm writing a newsletter about uh, e-commerce and what are the new apps that you can use for your e-commerce store, tips and strategies, how we can increase performance. So all the e-commerce stuff and you would find a link down below in the description. So if you're interested, you can sign up. And now let's open the app and let's install it for our store. So in a moment, when you will install it, how we can use it and what we are going to find here. So you would find here, welcome to form builder. Here you have option to create a new form. Then you would have existing forms here, like a live forms or drafts or knowledge base where you would have all the informations about how to use it, etc. I'm going to show you the top here and then we are going to start to get a new form. What do you say about that? So next to the dashboard are going to be forms. Here I have already existing forms. And if you want to, you're going to find the short code that you can copy to your page form ID, uh, which is going to display the form in a block. And then on the right side, this is something I'm going to mention later in the video. Then you can have the settings here, like the basic settings, pricing, that right now, uh, this is going to be tutorial for the free account. But if you want me to, I can make it also for the pro account. And then also the roadmap. Like what is happening. Now, when I go to forms now, let me show you, I'm going to click here, create a new form. Now, you see on the right side, always the form preview where you can switch to mobile and tablet and you always can see how it looks like. First, what we have to do is to add a form name. So with a form name, it can be something like, let's say contact, contact us form. You can have notification email addresses so we'll gladly send information to multiple emails to separate multiple emails emails use commas so this is something that you can do then you can have the email domains to block enter only the root domain without the prefix and this is all premium so as except uh, only one form submission per user or record a URL of the page where your form is placed. Now, when I go further and I'm going to fill everything like the setup, the important things, we need go, we're going to go to content. In content, we're going to set up the form settings. So with the form settings, you can add a form banner. This is like a logo that you can use and upload. Now, when you're going to upload your logo and you're always going to see it in preview on the right, you can have it image alignment to left, to center or to right. Then you're going to have the form title right here, which is contact us. This is something that you can see right here. So when I'm going to write here, one, two, three, you can see it appears right here. And then you're going to add a description. So if you want to add a description under your title, you're going to find it right here. Then submit button text. This is the button that you can see right here on the bottom right. So submit button text is here. Now, when I go even further, we're going to find the form elements. Form elements are all the elements that you can see right here. This is the most important thing I think in the video. Is that, okay, you're going to have the first name, last name, email, subject message. These are all the things that we see right here. If you want to, you can move them like this. So you can move them as much as you want, or you can click here, add an element. When you're going to add an element, 
you're going to have the single line text or you're going to have the paragraph drop down file upload number spacebar url even if you want to have like a file upload here people can now choose a file and upload something or i can have let's say a date if you want to have a date person can choose it so this is like really great about how many elements you have there now when i go even further what we can find here is that we can open it and change it so first name when i have it and i want them to fill it out i can have it required or i can have it filled in the center so all of that uh, you would find right here and then for most you're going to have similar settings here and this is like the subject this is the drop down and people can choose so i definitely recommend again checking out the as i mentioned uh the getting more out of formal builder app use cases and check out how we can get inspired or even check out your competition what they're using how they're using it how we can make it better Think try a little bit ahead right now we're gonna have the captcha with a captcha you can have and enable it with google captcha version 2 if you want to then you're gonna have after submission action what happens so here you would have a hide form and show a thank you message message after successful submission so this is something that you can edit too and then you're gonna have the autoresponder email and admin email now when i go even further and we go to design we can change the layout like we can have floating labels, bulk labels, or inline labels. Then you can have the form that you can have like background time. You can have it as a color or as an even gradient or as an image. Then you can have the background shadow, which is like the hard, dark shadow, soft, dark, form width, form padding even, and form border color. So all of these things you can edit as much as you want. Then you can have the input here. Input is like, you know, the label font size, also font color that let's say I'm going to red like this. I can change that too. So this is where you would like, I'll edit all the input and then submit button button text color font size and you can again change if it's going to be like full width or center or right all of that you will edit right here and then it also advanced like the trackings here now when you will finish it and when you will edit your own form builder you would click here save here you can have the contact us form and what you can do is multiple things you can insert shortcode to a page directly so you would just press here just for test and you can choose if it's going to be positioned on top of the page or bottom of the page and you would click insert then and you would get it rare you can have submitted responses next to it and you would have all the responses right here then you can have like you can duplicate or even edit the form or delete it form data catch clear or form preview so how does it actually looks like also what you can do place the code in your page html so again you just copy it and paste it and that's pretty much it about how you can use it so i hope this video was beneficial for you on what you can do with it what you can do with the hulk form builder if you can have any questions, let me down in comments and definitely check out the newsletter that I'm writing. Thank you very much and have a great day. Goodbye.